Even as we try to solve the mysteries of outer space, there are plenty of strange and mysterious locations on Earth with amazing stories that remain secret. Some of these are abandoned human settlements that were once lost to history, while others are natural unexplained phenomena. Number 5 Invadenet Island is one of the most mysterious and creepy places on the planet. Located in Kenya's Lake Turkana, this eerily abandoned island has a creepy history of disappearances that led to the disturbing name. Officially, the small volcanic island is called North Island, being the northernmost of three islands in this salt lake. But it also carries the name of Invadenet, which is meant to mean Island of No Return in the language of the tribes that live on the shore of the lake. Most of the stories of this island are likely no more than legends, but it's possible there is a grain of truth to the scary stories. According to locals, there was once a village of people on the island that would occasionally travel by raft to the mainland and trade with them. But one day, the islanders stopped coming without any warning. After a while of not hearing from them, a group of local men traveled to the island to find out what had happened. They found the village completely abandoned. Fires had been left to extinguish. Fish had been left to go off, and there was no sign of any islanders. The group decided to leave before whatever had struck the island struck them too. Another story involves two European scientists who went on an expedition to the island. They were part of a larger expedition where most of the men stayed on the shore. The scientists, Martin Scheffless and Bill Dyson, would use flashlights to send signals back to their colleagues on the shore. Like the islanders, these two stopped one day. After several days of not hearing from them, rescuers were sent to the island, but found no trace of Martin or Bill. Locals were hired to comb the island for anything that could indicate what had happened. They allegedly had to be promised a large reward, as none wanted to set foot on Invadenet Island. But despite a large search effort, nothing was found. There are countless other stories about people going to hide on this island, but never coming back. While it would be easy to brush them aside as legends, especially as there's no physical evidence of any of the people who supposedly disappeared, there may be some truth to it. The island is known to be full of poisonous snakes, and the nearby central island is home to the largest colony of Nile crocodiles. It's possible these could be responsible for disappearances, and the stories were made up to stop people from getting too close. The island is volcanic, and periodically releases gases that might be toxic. The lake is known for dramatic weather events and high winds. It's easy to imagine a situation where the original inhabitants of the island became panicked or confused by the poisonous gases, and fled into the water in the middle of the storm only to capsize and end up attacked by crocodiles. Whatever the case, the island is now abandoned and it doesn't look like there's much interest in testing this curse anytime soon. Number 4 Mokuchain in China is another mysterious place on this list with some creepy paranormal folklore. The Devil City, as it's known, is located in the Gobi Desert. Rising from the dry plains are towering structures that are said to resemble castles, buildings, and even the faces of demons. The structures are not man-made. It was once an ancient lake bed, and millions of years of erosion have left the strange shapes as they are today. But despite this being one of the most inhospitable places in Asia, in a very isolated region, Moguchain attracts visitors from all around the world. While the sights are amazing, it's the sounds that have captured people's attention. These mysterious sounds really give life to a city that couldn't possibly host any. It's said that with a gentle breeze, the sound of bells or guitars can be heard, and it's somewhat pleasant. But in storms, sounds like tigers roaring, elephants trumpeting, and women and children shouting and crying can be heard. The worse the storm, the worse the sounds get, until the visitor is completely consumed by dread. 
This, rather than the idea that these ancient stone structures resemble demons, is what gave Moguchain its name. What causes the sounds remains a mystery. Local legends say paranormal and supernatural creatures are to blame. Fairy-like creatures are responsible for the noises when the weather is nice, and they're also responsible for the beautiful, colorful stones that can be seen in the rock. Ghosts and demons are said to make the terrifying noises that come with the storms. Since the creepy place gained international attention, there have been a number of fake videos using, among other things, distorted bird songs in place of the mysterious noises. These videos are usually debunked, and on one occasion, the Chinese authorities arrested four people for doctoring a video. But official tourist companies from China still promote Moguchen as a strange and mysterious place to visit. There's no denying that there's something creepy going on here. Of course, while it's likely the sounds are more natural than supernatural, the fact is we still don't know what exactly it is. Number 3 Saxe Huaman is a location so shrouded in mystery that it's been the subject of shows like Ancient Aliens. The ancient fort was so masterfully built that even today we don't understand just quite how it was done. Saxe Huaman is located in Peru, tucked away between the mountains. It was of great spiritual importance to the Inca people and had everything from temples and shrines to residential areas and aqueducts. It was big enough to hold thousands of people, and it's likely where the population of the nearby cities would gather during important spiritual events. But it's not the purpose of Saxe Huaman that makes it so mysterious. It's just how it's built. Today, all that remains of this once formidable fort is the stones that were too big for the Spanish conquistadors to move. When the Spanish took over, they dismantled the structure and used the smaller stones to build their own government and religious buildings. But the stones that remain still give us a glimpse into the awe-inspiring work of the Inca builders. The stones fit together so precisely that not even a single piece of paper can be put between them. There's no mortar keeping the building intact, only the precision of each piece. It managed to survive earthquakes and would have been a good stronghold for the local people in the times of trouble. How the Incas managed to make the stones fit together so perfectly is what has left people scratching their heads. It's been suggested that they may have had to heat up the rock to a melting point and mold it into shape. This wouldn't have been impossible but extremely difficult given the size of the rocks involved. It's also possible it was simply a case of a group of extremely skilled craftsmen. It was almost definitely not aliens that gave the Inca the technology to make this mysterious location. Number 2 Bolshoi Zayatsky Island is a small island in the White Sea near Russia's border with Finland, with some of the strangest features found anywhere in the world. The island is less than 2 kilometers across and is an extremely isolated area. But thousands of years ago, humans reached this speck of land and left their mark. There are 14 unexplained labyrinths on the small island. Some are just a few meters in diameter, while the biggest is more than 26 meters. They're said to resemble two snakes, with the heads in the middle and the tails coiling around each other. There's only one entrance, which is also the exit. They're mostly made out of boulders, which form the walls of the labyrinths. Vegetation has now overgrown them, making it look like the structures are made from the earth itself. Very little is known about these mysterious features, and even something like their age is an unanswered question. It's believed that the structures date back to 3000 BC, but without proper research, it's hard to say for sure. Some researchers have even suggested that they might be from as recent as the Middle Ages. Why they were built is another unknown. Some bone fragments have been found among the boulders, but it doesn't seem like this was used as a burial place. They also don't fit the patterns of a structure used for tracking the sun and the moon. There are some sculptures that are thought to represent the sun, which include spokes, but they aren't featured in the labyrinths. Other possible explanations include both the mystical and the mundane. 
Like with most things that archaeologists don't understand, the possibility that it might have had some spiritual importance has been suggested. It's thought that they might have been seen as doorways to the underworld, or a way to help trap evil spirits. The more mundane answer also involves trapping things, but this time fish. 5,000 years ago, the water levels were higher, and it's been theorized the labyrinths might have been used to trap fish to make it easier for fishermen. Other nearby islands also feature labyrinths, and it's possible more research and excavations may give us an answer. But it's just as likely this will remain one of the most mysterious places on Earth. Number 1 some of the most mysterious places in the world are locations that might hold the answers to questions that have puzzled archaeologists and historians looking back at our ancient past. These locations were once essential to early civilization, but for some reason now lie abandoned and forgotten. One such location was the Mohenjo-Daro in modern-day Pakistan. Mohenjo-Daro is one of the most important cities in the Hindu Valley civilizations, but we know next to nothing about it. It's believed to have been at its height between 2500 and 1900 BC, and the people that lived there had a complex drainage system, an intricately designed city made from baked bricks, and from what we can tell, no temples. For context, this was around about the same time as Egypt's Old Kingdom and hundreds of years before the Bronze Age collapse. Without any temples or any references to kings or queens, historians have had a hard time figuring out the system of government in this city. It's clear there was a system though. Pottery and tools were standardized and still undeciphered seals indicate there was a controlled trade. It's theorized that this could have been a city-state similar to those in the much later ancient Greece. But the real mystery surrounding Mohenjo-Daro is why it was abandoned. Going so far back, even something like pinning down a century is difficult. But researchers believe the city collapsed sometime after 1900 BC. This was long after the 4.2 kiloyear event, a 100-year drought that took place between 2200 and 2100 BC. The Mohenjo-Daro people survived the event. In Egypt and the Mediterranean, civilizations were just starting to get back on their feet. But Mohenjo-Daro went the other direction. One theory is that these two factors were connected. It was around this time that the Orion people came into North India. For a long time, it was thought that the later Vedic texts that referred to the Indian gods taking out their enemies might refer to an attack on Mohenjo-Daro. Excavations of the site found skeletal remains lying haphazardly in the streets, indicating that some devastating attack had taken place. But since then, more research has brought that conclusion into question. There's no evidence of any weapons or armor, and the reason the remains were so haphazardly left could be because the city was continuously building on top of itself. There are at least three periods in Mohenjo-Daro construction each built on top of the other. Where bodies were apparently left in the middle of the street could easily be bodies who were given a correct burial in an area that just happened to be above an ancient street. If it wasn't an attack from outsiders, we're yet to find out what caused the collapse. This strange and mysterious place likely has the answers just waiting to be discovered. But for now, it's filled with ghosts of civilizations long gone. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But I've been Ty Knotts and I'll catch you guys in the next video.